Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with our good buddy, Bill Jordan. Hey, Bill. Hi, guys. Hey, good morning, Bill. How are you? I'm doing doing great. By the way, if, if you're watching this, sometimes, well, oftentimes, before uh, Art and John and I start recording for like what you're about to see, we talk about all kinds of stuff. And we've talked about cars and sports cars and stuff. And I think right. we may have already talked about I'm not into the mood of like buying a sports car anymore. Just if you want one, go rent it. If you want a convertible, go rent it for the weekend. Let somebody else take the insurance hit and all that stuff. But it leads into the thought of if you were a car or a vehicle, what kind of vehicle or what vehicle would you be? Well, pray tell, what kind of vehicle would you be? I, I would be a silver Toyota 4Runner. Four wheel drive because all my wheels still work. Um, silver, and um, I'm I still find myself lugging stuff and carrying stuff. So it would have to be an SUV that, you know, my wife could throw rocks and dirt and topsoil and landscaping stuff in the back. And so you're you're really you're really taking this into a anthropomorphic mode where you wow. see yourself as a car and your car has to be certain things like because you've got all your wheels and your carries. See, I, I, I'm i much less practical about that. First of all, <laughs> I know what car I'd like to be. All right. Forget what I, what I think I am or I should be. I know what I want to be. I want to be a 1952 Gullwing Mercedes sports car, 300 yeah. SL, worth i think today probably 20 million you know and fun to drive gorgeous to look at that's what i want to be by, uh, by the way john am. john john you are fun to drive and gorgeous to look at so you know i'm you've got a good start on that but i have to tell you that i'm a lot more excuse me i'm a lot more like mr jordan okay uh you know i've had an suv for years John, you yes. and I used to load it up with uh, equipment when we did right. on-site interviews. And right. so I had a, a big old SUV and we used that around, but I, and so I like it. But when I got my new one, I imagined myself with the car that I got, which was reliable, 100,000 mile, 10 year warranty. It happens to be silver and it's a Hyundai Santa Fe, a little bit smaller, but now we do everything by interviews by Skype. So it fits me perfectly. So I like that reliability factor of the car. That's, I, that's what I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but that's one of the other things is I think I'm I think I'm reliable. Right. So you said a forerunner, right? I, those are great. Silver Toyota forerunner. That's if I were a vehicle, that's what I see myself as being. Great car. Well, I um, I obviously don't fit the pattern here. <laughs> uh, so, I see myself as a, if I were a car. I would be a 1997 Toyota Celica with the uh, smashed headlights, lots of dents. Um, the seats are all taped over, you know, gaffer's tape holding the, the leather or they didn't have leather cloth together. Right. And the trunk, the trunk, by the way, keep, you hit a bump and the trunk flips up, right? And the windows don't go up all the way. That That's basically, but. After three hundred thousand miles, it still runs. I can go anywhere in it. And and also, that's, that's also nice. John, also John, it's unlikely that anybody's going to steal your catalytic converter. <laughs> How <laughs> true! That was still the days of the carburetor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that, you know, I think that's an interesting thing. You know, as you're watching this, comment you know underneath the video about what kind of what kind of vehicle you would be, not the kind you want. Because the kind I'd want, like, like would you know, an Aston Martin DB5, a James Bond car, that'd be pretty yeah. cool. Um, yeah. But what kind of vehicle would you be? Maybe hmm. you're flashy. Maybe you're sporty. Well, I'm, I can tell you, I'm right on. <laughs> Maybe you can take your top down. I don't know. It's up to you. Well, if it is up to me, I guess I'm I'm pretty confident that I've picked the right car. There you go. Yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube.
and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.